Hey folks, Sturge here, back on Planet Rocktropia. Just flew in a couple of days ago with my newly acquired adjusted Lucan Spare Rifle. It's a delight to have. Uh, I have to. I came here to finish up this video showing the uh, how some of the weapons stack up against uh, one another and their economy in the booty raids here at the safe house, the factory, right across from the Billy Bar. Uh, well, I'm certain most of you watching know how the loot system works for these booty raids or for all raids here on Rocktropia. I'm not going to go into that, uh, other than to say, you know, it's definitely um, damage based on what and what you uh, your expenditure. Uh, but what I'm really here to do is to show you how certain weapons uh, stack up against one another and their effect on the overall return, your overall return, uh, and the economics of that. And then I'm going to show a couple of big, bigger runs, 35 ped and 49 ped, and how spending more necessarily doesn't equate to a bigger reward in some cases and that may be weapon based I don't have enough data on that one in particular but first let me show you how I set up each run for the consistency of the experiment and then uh, and then I'll go into reviewing each and every weapon okay dokie here's how I do it uh, I pretty much attack the thing as uh, it would, n would normally place explosives on the door uh, go through, you know, go through and kill all eight of the groups of the Vixen. Come into this last room, kill every one but one of the Vixen uh, androids in this room. Leave one behind. Very important. Uh, leave that one behind so that you can come and do all of these over again. You go in then from here, back into the room with the die. You click on it until it gets gives you snake eyes. And once you have snake eyes, all the little red dots will appear on your radar. You go and you kill all of those. And then when you're finished killing all of those, you go into the final room again and kill the last uh, the last uh, fembot in there. And then you click the safe. That's how I do every single run here. Hope that helps a little. Alright, 
Moment of truth. Speed metal. Eyeshadow. Trekkie's Delight one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, folks, there you have it. It's the last rating attack nano chip one uh, that has the uh, best overall uh, stats of any of the weapons I tried. Now, I'm sure there are many uh, other weapons out there that we could try, but this is definitely the the best of the ones I tried. Uh, overkill 0.53 PED, that's the lowest. Decay 0.37 PED, the lowest. The highest loot return, I did a couple runs and it shows that definitely, and the overall loss is 2.15 PED for this particular run. Uh, if you're looking at markup, you might be able to simply break even. I make most of my lockpick kit one uh, keys to get into this, so my return is pretty consistent. I would say my loss is probably right around break even at this particular point with the markup and so forth. And then, of course, every once in a while you get speed metal, and that's a winner, too. There it is. Last rating attack, nano chip. Uh, best overall of this group. Okie dokie, here's a slightly larger run. Just a little bit more than double what I would normally do for the 2,000, 2,200-ish range. This is 51. The 86 is going to be the total. Uh, each and every time you click the dice, you're going to get an average of 740 more possible damage. That's about, that's just the average. Um, and then this one turns out to be uh, 34.47 PED worth of loot, as you can see right there. So not too bad overall. Okay, folks, this is the largest uh, run I've done so far. Total value, including the key and ammo, was about 53 PED. Uh, not including decay. I'm using the Ospin Chon, probably not the best weapon as we know now, but that's all right. Um, I was kind of hoping for a like a real global, not just the internal global that you get when you open the safe here, this cute little deal, but uh, I missed it. But the, uh, in the end, the total return is 49.73 PED, which is just not quite enough for the 50 uh, ped global that you would get normally, so that was a bit disappointing, but that's how that worked out. So, no speed metal either, but... Uh, it's still a darn good run, and uh, and I'm well, I'm happy that uh, I was able to pull this off. I hope this has uh, been an informative video for everyone, and uh, that uh, there are more to come. Uh, I'm certainly, if there's uh, interest, I'll do more weapons and uh, see how they stack up in the future. Thanks for watching. Sturge out.